Welcome back to Tea Time. I'm Virginia Howard, your 140th Wing Director of Psychological Health Services, and I'm joined here today by Midnight, our wing therapy dog. We're here to share some helpful tips to get you through all of life seasons, as well as tips that can make any holiday you celebrate be bright. The holidays, while a time of great excitement, are stressful for everyone, especially this year as we continue to experience political division, racial tension, and continued restrictions to our normative routines, leisure activities, and traditions. Four common areas for stress are unrealistic expectations, financial pressures, social engagements, and seasonal changes. The following tips are gonna help you guys enjoy the holidays and weather any season. And it helps if we can be realistic, plan ahead, use our supports and increase positive self-care. So tip number one is be aware and acknowledge your feelings. You can't force yourself to be happy just because it's the holiday season. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to take time to cry. It's okay to take some time to be sad or to sit and talk and express your feelings with friends. Be cautious not to buy into the lie. The reality of stress is that it's limited. This too shall pass. Be aware of messages that say, this will never change. Things are always bad. The truth about stress also is that it's isolated. It's generally isolated to one issue or one area of life. So be careful again about thoughts that say, everything and everything about my life just sucks. In addition, when we look at stress, it is also most often created by external factors. They're things outside of our control. So be careful about messages that say something's wrong with me or this is all my fault. Tip number two, find your yes and connect. I understand that COVID has changed a lot of ways that we celebrate traditions this year, but there are plenty of ways we can make new meaning and find ways to, again, spend time with our family and friends. We can either do that by Zoom forums or calling or FaceTiming, and we can still get together in small gatherings where we practice safeguards and social distancing. So be proactive in planning social activities. If you feel lonely or isolated, seek out family, seek out friends and community, or go to religious activities or other social events. Volunteering your time to help others is a great way to lift your spirits and broaden your friendships. Tip number three, be realistic. And number four, focus on what is in your control. Again, this is going to require a lot of flexibility to realize that things may not be exactly they were, the way they were last year. It's okay to adjust your new reality to your present situation. Accept where you're at now and what you can do. Make new meaning this year and new traditions. And as much as you can, incorporate as much of the old traditions that still serve you. The holidays don't have to be perfect or just like last year. Tip number five, stick to a budget. Before you go shopping, decide how much money you can afford to spend and don't try to buy others happiness. Consider these alternatives. Donate to a charity in someone's name. Give homemade gifts. Start a family gift exchange or go to a free holiday event with loved ones. Tip number six, learn to say no, guys. Know your limits. Know your limits with food, with alcohol, with work, and even social engagements. I also encourage you guys to say no to discuss in politics at these social gatherings. Saying yes when you should say no can leave you feeling resentful and overwhelmed. Tip number seven, don't abandon healthy habits. Overindulgence only adds to stress and guilt. Think before you drink. Know what you're drinking, set a limit, and stick to it. Since COVID, one study claims that alcohol sales went up by 54% in national sales. That's 260 times more than in 2019. So alternate non-alcoholic beverages if choosing to drink and don't drink and drive. When we talk about, again, indulgence, also be cautious about your food consumption. Bring a healthy dish 
or eat a healthy snack before you go to parties so you don't go overboard on sweets and cheese and drinks. In addition to practicing good self-care, incorporate regular physical activity, get good sleep, and remember, 90% of weight loss occurs in REM sleep. Tip number eight, take a breather, guys. Make some time for yourself. Spend even 15 minutes without distraction. Whether that's you meditate, or you go outside and you enjoy nature, you exercise or do yoga, or maybe you just wanna read or listen to music. Find something that reduces stress and clears your mind. Just practice on focusing on being present and slowly breathing in and out to restore inner calm. Tip number nine, establish a routine. Regardless of how you feel, look the part by moving, getting up, showering, and getting dressed. Be aware, guys, of what you're seeing and listening to. Make a choice to surround yourself with things, people, and activities that bring you joy. And tip number 10, seek professional help if you need it. Despite your best efforts, you might continue to find yourself feeling anxious or sad or lonely or angry. For a complete list of resources, go to our 140th Wing application under Helpful Resources and just know that as your Director of Psychological Health, Midnight and I are both available at any time to help you guys find the joy, love, hope, and peace through the holidays and at all times. Happy Holidays!